Well, it's back to school time and a lot of people are buying new computers for their students, their kids that are going to college, going to high school, and even some kids as young as middle high, middle high, <laughs> middle school or junior high. Um, a question I get asked sometimes is how much memory, meaning random access memory, is enough? Well, and then I come back to them and I ask them, well, what are you going to be doing with that particular um, that computer. So you're like, well, I'm going to be using Microsoft Office or some sort of a word processor application. I'm going to be checking my email and I'm going to be surfing the web. That's the most common answer. Now, for those people, I'd say one gigabyte of memory is a very comfortable proposition. So if you get a computer that says it comes with 512 MB, which stands for megabyte, or one GB, which is one gigabyte, go for the one with gigabyte. However, if you're someone who's more of a power user and uh, you're going to be using a laptop which has Windows Vista, which a lot of the laptops are coming with today, make sure you see and you understand what is going on your laptop because it matters when it comes to memory configuration. Now, previously I said 512 is okay if you're running Windows XP. Now, if you're running Windows Vista, I say you need a minimum of two gigabytes. I don't care if you're running, if you're using, um, I don't care if you're not going to be playing games, I don't care if you're not going to be doing a whole lot of web surfing, just email. You need at least two gigabytes. Windows Vista requires a lot of memory to operate comfortably, especially if you're used to Windows XP. So I'm going to say a minimum of two gigabytes. Now if you're a Unix guy or a Linux guy, 512 is typically okay for your standard X Windows configuration with Ubuntu, with Debian, and, and uh, Gintu, and all these other people. But if you're going to be doing a lot of, you know, image editing and gaming and things like that, and you're going to be running a lot of applications at once, that's the general that's the general consensus. Is if you're going to be running a lot of applications at once, you're going to need more memory because uh, that's what random access memory is for, is for storing temporary information in memory so that your applications running can do a lot more at the same time. Now, so if you're going to be running Linux, then I, you know, I'll kick it up a little bit and say 1.5 to 2 gigabytes. Now, if you're going to be running Mac OS 10, you're going to be buying a Macintosh notebook or computer, I'm going to say a minimum, a minimum of 2 gigabytes just a minimum of two gigabytes it's I mean OS 10 loves memory and when you have memory with OS 10 it's gonna love you and you're gonna love it that's what that's what I'm gonna say to that so a minimum of two gigabytes OS 10 can support up to four gigabytes on most configurations so if you can get a little bit more then by means go ahead you're gonna be happy you did so that's you know that's the general answer is that you know depends on what operating system you're running and what you're going to be doing in that operating system. If you're going to be doing a lot of image, image manipulation using a lot of programs that use a lot of resources. Say if you're going into the engineering field, you're going to be using AutoCAD. You're going to be using, you know, finite element analysis, which I did in mechanical engineering. That kind of stuff. You may need some raw CPU crunch power. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you're just going to be surfing the web, doing papers. You know, if you're, if you're just getting into college, then most likely you're just going to be doing the basics which is just writing papers and doing spreadsheets and you know those are the basic things and you know 512 to 2 gigabytes of memory is okay I would go for 2 gigabytes because I'm a memory guy myself um, and if you want to be a power user go for the high end go for 4 gigabytes if you can I know most Windows operating systems which are 32 bit and not 64 bit uh, cannot go over 3 gigabytes of memory without some some, some trickery so uh, but most won't so that's my answer to how much memory do I need for my new computer going back to school or whatever you're gonna be doing all right this is Buona from Buona.tv mobile <laughs> in my truck being safe and uh, wishing you goodbye and uh, happy back to school